Welcome to the Ketogenic Diet and KD 2.0. My name is Johannes van der Wiel. I'm the founder of KetoCloud. It's a good time now to declare that I don't have medical qualifications. However, I've got over 14 years of experience in the ketogenic diet. As a keto coach, helping patients on the ketogenic diet and the family going through the process as well as writing software and mobile apps for both the prescription and the administering of the ketogenic diet. I got involved with the ketogenic diet because my son, 24 years old at the moment, suffered from severe epilepsy. At one stage we counted 27 seizures in a period of one day. We saw the movie First Do No Harm, starring Meryl Streep. This movie introduced us to the ketogenic diet and when we had an interview with our neurologist the next day, he explained to us that the ketogenic diet was actually a therapy used in many hospitals as a last resort when medication didn't help anymore. Our neurologist asked us to read the book written by the late John Freeman, Ketogenic Diet, a Therapy for Epilepsy. Reading this book, we realized that many more books were written on the subject and also that the ketogenic diet wasn't only used for epilepsy, also for cancer, for Alzheimer's, for type 2 diabetes, and so on. A side effect of the ketogenic diet is loss of fat, but retention of muscle, and that's the reason why the bodybuilding industry also uses this diet. And so, of course, does the weight loss industry. What's in a name? The ketogenic diet or variations of the ketogenic diet are known under many different names. KD or SKD, standard or classical ketogenic diet. KD with MCT, ketogenic diet with medium chain triglyceride oil. CKD, cyclical ketogenic diet. 5-2 diet, cyclical ketogenic diet. TKD, targeted ketogenic diet. Dr. Atkins diet. MAD modified Atkins diet, LCD low carb diet, three eggs per day diet. So what is the ketogenic diet and what does it do? It is a therapy that induces a metabolic state called ketosis. That means the body uses fat as an energy source rather than glucose. It is achieved by eating a set ratio of fat, protein and carbohydrate at a calculated amount of calories. Ketosis has a significant effect on seizure activity. The statistics show that while the patient is on the ketogenic diet, one-third of the patients will have reduced seizure activity. One-third of the patients will have no seizures at all. Half of the last one-third will remain seizure-free after the therapy is finished. For epilepsy, this therapy could stretch over three years or longer. So how do we start with the ketogenic diet? First, you need to find a neurologist trained in prescribing the ketogenic diet. Most of them have teamed up with a dietitian who is trained in the administering of the ketogenic diet. It is advisable to find a keto coach. These are people like me who have been through the process successfully and will provide you with encouragement and might be able to answer some of your questions. These are the people that you can call at 1am if you really need to. So you have found a neurologist and a dietitian. What happens now? The process will go through the following steps. 1. KD suitability assessment. How likely is it for the patient to establish ketosis and how likely the patient is to cooperate? 2. Prescription. Vast calculations are to be made by the physician and the dietitian. 3. Initialization. A short stay admittance to a hospital where a slow or rapid establishing of ketosis will happen while under close observation. 4. Maintenance. Frequent consultations to be arranged with the physician and dietitian. 5. Fine tuning. After consultation, a recalculation of the therapy based on the information gathered during the consultation. 
Six, weaning off. Getting off the therapy, a slow process where the therapy changes from day to day until normal eating has been achieved without seizures returning. Not everybody should be on the ketogenic diet. The physician and dietitian will determine the suitability of the patient to undergo the therapy. Some of the criteria are the current treatment. The ketogenic diet is rarely prescribed and administered in combination with any other treatment. Patients resolve. Does the patient have a strong character? Is he or she likely to give in to temptations? Eating habits are important. Picky eaters are difficult, vegetarian and vegans even more so. However, I personally have taken a vegan through the therapy with the best possible outcome. Will the patient eat outside their favourite foods? Does the patient have a sweet tooth? Can the patient stop eating? For example, sweets when asked. Environment. Are the people in the patient's direct surroundings supportive of the diet? For example, are the grandparents likely to sneak in some food or candy? And what about the school canteen? Do the parents understand the importance of not cheating, and are they willing and capable of following the instructions given? Expectations. What are the success criteria? The higher the criteria, the harder it is to achieve them. If parents expect nothing but seizure-free, there is a 2 out of 3 chance of failure. Next step, the prescription. Either the physician or the dietitian will calculate the ketogenic variables in accordance to accepted calculation methods. Normally, the dietitian will estimate the energy requirements by age and level of activity. Depending on age, gender and level of activity, the protein requirement is estimated. The ratio of fat to protein and carbohydrate is determined. In many cases, for initialization, hospitalization is required. This gives the physician the opportunity to closely observe the possible emergence of underlying conditions, like diabetes. It allows ketosis to be established in a controlled environment, thereby alleviating some of the pressures on the parents. Finally, when the physician is satisfied that all is okay, discharge. Maintenance. A critical part of the success of the ketogenic diet is communication. A clear and open flow of information allows the recognition of other conditions affecting the efficiency of the ketogenic diet. Ongoing observation of critical parameters. Keto levels ensures an appropriate level or indicates the need for fine-tuning. Seizures might indicate the need for fine-tuning. Seizure type might indicate the need for fine-tuning. Fine-tuning might be required as a result of change in reported or observed parameters such as weight gain or loss, increased or reduced activity, reduced efficiency of the ketogenic diet, changes in overall health. Fine-tuning is a change in ketogenic ratio, or a change in energy allocation, or a change in protein allocation, or a combination of all three. Weaning off is a slow process where therapy changes from day to day until normal eating has been accomplished. Weaning off the ketogenic diet involves both a gradual change in the ketogenic ratio to normal levels, and an increase in energy allocation to normal levels. This results in a change in metabolic state. This stage also needs close monitoring by the physician or dietitian. At home, every meal has to be calculated every day. Patients need to be motivated to maintain cooperation, although absence of seizures is a great motivator. Providing a variety of ingredients provides motivation, helps avoid boredom with the food, and is of nutritional benefit. Feedback needs to be provided to the physician and dietitian so they can access the success of the therapy and decide the need for fine-tuning. To correctly calculate the ketogenic diet, current variables have to be used. To accurately calculate the content of fat, protein and carbohydrate, ingredient nutritional content value information is required. A large selection of ingredients facilitates cooking a vast array of meals. A supply of recipes helps to create variety. As we have seen before, to execute the ketogenic diet correctly, currently we need a neurologist, a dietitian, admission to hospital, training in the calculation of the ketogenic diet, initializing ketogenic diet, frequent consultations with neurologist and or dietitian, fine tuning, looping back to consultation with neurologist for as long as the therapy is maintained, and finally, weaning off. Using the new KD 2.0, we need neurologist, dietitian, KD 2.0 on a 7-inch or larger tablet. 
KD 2.0 is an app to facilitate the prescription and administering of the classic ketogenic diet with and without MCT oil. It consists of a physician and dietitian app which provides tools for the registration of patients and colleagues, tools for all calculations required for the prescription and fine-tuning of the ketogenic diet. It also provides a graphical readout of the patient therapy history and feedback received. In addition, it includes tools to calculate multiple patient meals and meal server upload and download facilities. The patient or home app provides all tools needed for the meal calculation and a feedback channel to the physician and dietitian. KD 2.0 uses the classic ketogenic diet because it is proven and has the best success record of all ketogenic diets. It has been the longest track record. The reason why others are looking for alternatives is that it is difficult to calculate. However, KD 2.0 eliminates this issue. No cheating. Often cheating happens because the patients want something not included in the diet. With KD 2.0, almost everything can be included in the diet. KD 2.0 provides the home user with the following. Ingredient databases as approved by the physician or dietitian. Supply of ketogenic meals posted by other KD 2.0 users. Meal scheduling and sharing. A selection can be made from saved meals to ensure variation. Automatic calculation and recalculation of meals. Previously calculated meals and meals imported from other users will be recalculated with the patient's current ketogenic variables. Automatic daily updates sent to the physician or dietitian. A set of questions set up by the physician or dietitian need to be answered before the app can be accessed. The answers to these questions provide the physician or dietitian with information on the progress. Seamless fine-tuning. When the patient's ketogenic variables have been updated, they will be automatically uploaded to the Keto Cloud server, then downloaded to the patient's device and used in the meal calculations. Multiple device access. Crucial data is saved to the Keto Cloud server and accessed from any device with the app installed when logged in with the right credentials. Location independence. Even when traveling within data coverage, the ketogenic diet can be calculated and feedback will be passed on to the physician and dietitian. KD 2.0 Pro provides the physician and dietitian with the following. Strict control over patient's calculation parameters and use of ingredients. Based on the daily feedback from patients, a decision can be made to fine tune and update the patient's ketogenic variables. Feedback and therapy history charts. Seamless remote fine-tuning. When the patient's ketogenic variables have been updated based on the feedback received, the new values will be automatically uploaded to the Keto Cloud server, then downloaded to the patient's device and used in the meal calculations. All patient features available. Multiple device access. Critical data is saved to the Keto Cloud server and accessed from any device with the app installed when logged in with the right credentials. Location independence. Even when traveling within the data coverage, the feedback can be received. Patient therapy history can be viewed and patient ketogenic variables can be fine-tuned. Using proprietary algorithms, KD 2.0 calculates the ketogenic variables based on the input from the physician or dietitian. It then calculates the meals using these variables. These algorithms allow the calculation to take place while still allowing a degree of freedom to change portion size of some individual ingredients. This is the end of Module 1. I hope you found it informative.